Yeah, he ain't gone. He's still here. Hey, what's going on? I'm about to get ready to head up out of here in a minute. It was a blessing to come visit this brother, this bishop, this preacher, this man of God, Jero. I'm glad to be by here and came by today. Just just came by. The Spirit just led me over here to come on by. My brother was up doing what he do best in the Word. He was studying and he answered the door and he's like, what's going on? And we came, I came on in here and we, we just been having fun, catching up, good catching up. Mm. Um, real quick, I'm about to get up out of here. I want to throw something at you. At the gym that I attend and go to, which is 24 hour fitness, when I do a workout called the bench press, it causes me to lay on my back. <laughs> When I lay on my back, I'm in a position where I'm looking up. Come on, Doc. When I look up, the weight that I have on the bench, sometimes it's enough weight for me to pick it up by myself. Mm. But in the process, I'm still looking up while I'm on the bench and about to lift the weights. But there comes a time that the weight that I can lift, mm -hmm, I'm able to lift it up on my own, so it causes me to not have a spotter. But it's some weight that I put on there that's a little heavier, and I have to have a spotter. What are you saying? The spotter that I have is my helpmate, and he's there to help me to pick up the weight to get me started and going. But I'm still laying on my back looking up. Mm. God is looking down at me because I'm looking up at him. <laughs> He's giving me the strength yeah. to keep pushing because I'm steady looking up, pushing hard. And when I get done, if I do 10 reps, then I put the, put the weight back on the bar where it belongs. But what if I start struggling and complaining uh -oh. about the weight I'm lifting. And what if I didn't even have no help? Uh-oh. Uh, uh, what if um, I didn't even have no spot? Mm. But I still decided to lift the weight because I wanted to just go there and lift the weight. And I really just thought that in my mind I could do it. And I just, just went on ahead and just took what I've been doing. Because when you work out, you grow, you get stronger. But, 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 but here it is why, why I'm about to go. If I did it out of madness, mm. anger, I'm complaining and I'm upset, and I'm sitting down and I didn't ask for no help, <laughs> sitting on the bench, I can crush my chest and kill myself. Yes. How many of us have walked through life <laughs> with a lot of weight on our shoulders yeah. complaining? We upset and we're mad and 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 we 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 always got some negative to say, nothing yeah. positive. Come on. And, and we always upset and we we got all this yeah. weight. Come on. Yeah. And and what happens is that that even when you do have a spider, you still complain. Still complain. You still upset. You either complaining that the spider ain't ain't strong enough, yeah. ain't good enough. You complaining about everything around you. Yeah. Huh? Versus that, that when you're sitting down, you, 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 it, the, the, the easiest thing I found out mm. is when you ask for help, <laughs> you can get it. Well, but I think we're asking help from the wrong people. Ooh. See, my spotter has to be connected with me. Mm. Huh? Meaning that, that my spotter that I have, he, he also has a relationship with God. Oh, my God. Huh? Because what happens is that I can't have nobody that's complaining spotting me. Because if he complaining and angry, he going to mess around and leave me stuck in the same place. Mm. But there is there's something that happens in life when you get knocked down on your back. Uh -oh. See, back. me laying on my back on the bench press, that's a position to lift the weight. But I've been on my back in life Ooh. and things I've been through that have caused me to do one thing and that's looked up. Mm. Look up from which my help come from, and my help, it does come, come from the Lord. Come on, bro. Believe that. But, but, but what I realize and what I'm, what I'm getting at and where I'm going is that also when I looked up, I was convicted of a lot of things that I did wrong in my Lord life. Almighty. See, when you're in the hospital, uh. 
when you're laying down, there's a position they put you in. They put tools in your arms, put things on you. You're in the position to look up. And there's a point, there's a point in time in the hospital where they say no visitation. Mm. <laughs> You're in the room by yourself. By yourself. Hallelujah. Suddenly, God can come in and allow you to look up and you start really talking. He mm. starts talking to you. It, it's amazing how when you land on your back, Mm. There's only one thing you can do is look up. Yeah. And when you look up and your eyes are open, mm. you're able to think on the things that you did. Mm. The choices you made, the things you went through, the things you complained about, the people you talked about, yeah. the people you hurt. Come on, Dad. The, li the life that you lived. But you know what I love about God? He's a God of second chance. Mm. How many opportunities in your life you've been laying on your back and you done looked up and he done brought you out of it? Mm. Why did you talk about the weights in the beginning? I'm learning something. That when you lay on your back and God bring you out, that means you don't have to go back to the same situation. Mm. So when I'm at the gym, I don't go back and lift that same weight that I can't lift. <laughs> yeah. I lift the weight that's comfortable for me, the weight that'll get me there, the yeah. weight I can push. Because I'm going to tell you something, my spotter is not going to always be there. Ooh. But I got another spotter ah, come who's on, always by my side, who's always watching over me and always protecting me and keeping me from hurt, harm, and danger. This is what I want you to keep in mind. Through this holiday season, please don't get yourself in a position to lay on your back Ooh. and fall down. What I'm telling you is, quit to complaining, live right for God, quit being angry and bitter, quit being upset. If you're convicted about some things now, just ask Lord forgive you. Mm. Say, Lord, just forgive me for everything. Cry out and fall on your knees yeah. and give him praise and thanks. Yes, sir. Remember, people. Think about that bench I told you about, laying down on your back. You're only looking up. Please, the Lord won't put no more on you than you can burn. Mm. But don't go lift the weight out of anger, out of madness. Because if you do, there's no spotter. There's nobody there. And if you try to push the weight and do it by yourself out of anger and madness, you will crush yourself. Ooh. I always remember there is another spot. You help me and that's God. Always by your side. God bless you.